Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, February 22nd, 2010. Well, folks, I have just initiated a new position here in the Research Center in the chat room as I'm giving you guys this video. Gave them the alert, posted in the hot charts and alerts under the Research Center. And again, I just initiated it. We'll see how it goes here as my projections out in this market are almost 80 to 90 percent success rate as always continuing here in the research and chat room now a couple things to go over number one market is just floating sideways to slightly higher today now the Dow is up eight points Nasdaq is up about two and the S&P 500 up about two as well barely positive and it wasn't that way earlier earlier in the morning we had a gap up and then the markets flushed out what caused the flush out? The market moved up, or the dollar, I should say, moved up, and that caused a flush in the market. So again, folks, the dollar, the key catalyst in this market overall, volume today, by the way, is the lightest it has been all year. It is almost a joke how light this volume is. They might as well have closed the market, in my opinion, because it is that light. But we're actually getting a nice little sell-off right here, which is pushing my position right in the money right away. Here we go. Let's make some money here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Now, again, folks, the markets are closing in about 30 minutes, and again, we see the markets basically flat now. In fact, giving an update here, the Dow has just gone negative on this minor sell-off that we're seeing here. I don't know if it will last because the volume is so light in this market, but we will continue to follow it and see. In any case, the Dow is now down half a point. NASDAQ is up one and a half. S&P is up one point on the day. But bottom line, folks, again, the gap up started. Look at this beautiful double top. I mean, this is the double top you dream about. A gap right into a double top. You know that's resistance, and Look at the fall that came in on the markets. A one, two, pause, three bar flush right there. It took us all the way down into this level just below 111 on the SPY. At that point, a sharp bounce came in, taking us all the way back up. We flushed back into this yellow trend line. As you can see, this yellow trend line actually extends all the way to, I believe this is Thursday's open, connecting through the lows through Friday here, the 19th. And you get that beautiful trend line that connected to the lows. And that's how you knew that market was going to go down there this morning, folks, in the market. It's, everything is about charts. The charts will tell you exactly where this market's going to go. And they did beautifully here just that today. Both kits, look at this. Right here, there's your bounce. Where do you go? Right here. And then the market just floats sideways to up the rest of the day. Now we're seeing a little bit of the first pullback or decent two bar in a row pullback that we've seen almost since early this morning in the markets. But again, why did the markets gap up? Well, the media will tell you it was because Schlumberger offered a buyout on a company for $11 billion. They're going to tell you, oh, it was because Lowe's earnings were positive. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. That's media hype. Again, we're here at In The Money Stocks to avoid the media hype and tell you exactly why. You want to know why the market's gapped up today? I'm going to show you right now. We're going to punch up that UUP chart right here. This is it. Why? What are you guys looking at right here? The UUP is the dollar index. The dollar gaps lower today. All right, this is simply it. I mean, it's so ridiculous that the media needs to do it. But I understand. It's for ratings. they got to have a story behind everything. All right, so bottom line is right here, dollar gaps down. We know when the dollar is weaker, the markets are going to gap up. All right, so there you have it, folks. Again, simply put, the dollar gaps down, markets gap up. So down here, right here is where you open, and you move up. From that point on, look at the selling that took out. So you, you, you know the dollar gap down. That's why the market's gapped up. And the dollar rallied, right? You can see the dollar moving up beautifully here all the way up. And sure enough, the SPY, let's take a look at the SPY. What was the result? Look at this. As the dollar flushes back up and raises back up, the markets come in sharply. So the markets sell off. And then all of a sudden, you get the little bounce. And then all of a sudden, in the afternoon session, go back to the UUP. Look at the markets really from right here about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, all the way till about 3.30 now. Where have the where has the dollar gone? Let's take a look, and we'll punch that up. Look at this, guys. Dollar's fading back, and what do we know about the markets in the afternoon session? I just showed you we were fading up, right? The markets are going up, and the dollar was fading down. So you can see the direct opposite correlation here between the dollar and the markets continuing. Well, what does this mean? It actually was a beautiful thing because what we said was you could really see the situation where the markets, you could just gauge the dollar. In fact, I called a beautiful situational bounce play, not only knowing this trend line right here, but also by looking at the UUP and seeing that we did a gap fill here. So see how the dollar went into gap fill. And if you guys know anything about technicals out there, and a lot of you guys do that follow these videos, you know if something hits gap fill, that's going to be resistance. Therefore, by watching the dollar, you can actually trade the markets. 
dollar goes into resistance, what do we know about that? If the dollar hits resistance, it's going to pull back. When the dollar goes down, which would be a pullback, the market should go higher. So you can match up that gap fill right here perfectly on the spiders with this low pivot right down here. Unbelievable. Look at the bounce there, guys. We called that bounce. I called out a trade on ExxonMobil. Beautiful in the chat room. Made some good money there. We also called out a potash trade at the same time. And there were the trades just everywhere. POT off the 200. I'll show it here. Right at that point, we had a pierce of the 200 right here. Look at the bounce that took place right here for a beautiful scalp. Unbelievable. ExxonMobil. Take a look right down into this little lower level. If you go to a couple different charts, you can see there's a lot of support here. Look at the move back on ExxonMobil. There were tons of trades out there nonetheless. But in any case, folks, that position that I mentioned, I picked up a position right here early in the day. I mean, early in the afternoon or late afternoon. I just picked it up about five to seven minutes ago, actually. Gave it to the chat room and gave it to the research center by posting in the hot charts and alerts. But that position is now in the money by a decent amount here already as this market has come back in beautifully. So we're going to continue to follow and see where things go here. But right now, you can see clear as a bell the markets are just kind of floating neutral on the day. Spiders are up 24 cents. Uh, you're just hovering just below a double top here. Over here, just below this double top. And that is, again, what we're seeing, folks. And we'll continue to watch it and keep it on our charts. Again, folks, lots of good swing trades coming up. This week is going to be a pivotal week. This is the week you want to be involved because it's when we're going to start to accumulate certain things for the next move in the market. Are we consolidating before our next move up? Are we going to move up here and then pull back? That's the question. That's what we have the answers to in the Research Center and Hot Charts and Alerts chat room. In the, in the Hot Charts and Alerts, you get everything. I mean, it's Hot Charts and Alerts in the Research Center, Pro Trader watch list, nailing plays left and right, daily market report, my nightly videos that I do, which are just nonstop hardcore analysis on the dollar, on gold, on oil, on the markets, on plays out there. I give out my own swing trades. Anything I do, I make sure to relay to all our subscribers out there as a swing trade. So again, I'll keep you guys posted on that. I want you to make sure you know what's going on in this market because the market today, insanely light volume, flat market. That's actually interesting uh, kind of perspective. When there's light volume out there, you have to understand no institutions are playing ball here. No institutions. All right, I mean, there's always a little participation, but I'm saying on a major level, they're not playing ball. That's why you don't have bigger volume than 107 million right now in the SPY with 23 minutes left in the day. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke right now, the volume today. But in any case, you know what? I take that and I utilize that to tell me where the next move's going. I mean, it's that simple. All right, that simple. It will tell you the volume is a definite indicator that you need to pay attention to. The question is, can you read it properly? All right, and you have to combine it with other key levels. The webinar yesterday, huge group in the webinar, unbelievable. Everyone's already saying from that webinar that they already made back more than enough money just to cover it just off the plays that we told them how to do based on our methodology. Unbelievable stuff in that webinar. Next webinar is, I think, in late March. You want to sign up for that, get a spot as soon as possible. It pays off, folks. Bottom line, if you pay attention and you understand and we make sure you do in that webinar, it pays off beautifully. All right, folks, that's all for today. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.